Well, it is officially official. Straight from the Baltimore Ravens, they made the announcement uh, on Monday afternoon that they have officially signed wide receiver, former second round pick, former Arizona Cardinal speedster, Andy Isabella, to their practice squad. Y'all know I was scared. I was a little worried that this thing might not go through. I know there's some Ravens fans who were hoping it wouldn't go through, but I was a little worried just because of the way that John Harbaugh was speaking about it. Uh, a few days ago at a presser. And what stood out to me was that just the way that John Harbaugh spoke about Jason Pierre Paul before that was official versus how he spoke about Andy Isabella before that was official. And it was just two different tones, but either way, it don't even matter anymore. Um, Andy Isabella is now a Baltimore Raven. So, what does this mean? I, I think things uh, definitely change and could take a turn. Uh, for what this signing means based off of the game against the Bengals. Because the game against the Bengals, um, as we mentioned plenty of times before, we went into that game thinking like, all right, we know about Mark Andrews, obviously. Everybody knows about Mark Andrews. We, we're getting to know Devin Duvernay. And, and I'm, I'm loving what we've been seeing. And now, uh, now at this point, because before – they weren't really valid, but after yesterday's game, well, depending on when you watch this video, I'm recording this on Monday, but we might see it on Tuesday. So, but anyway, after the Bengals and Ravens game, now we can start doing the, the Debo comparisons. Now you can do that. Even though we want Devin Duvernay to be Devin Duvernay. I mean, we call him Devin do it all Vinay yesterday, but now you can start seeing the similarities. Because they were really using Devin Duvernay everywhere. But anyway, um, at going into the game against the Bengals, the big question was who's going to step up at wide receiver? And who's going to consistently step up at wide receiver? And we just we ain't really hear from anybody else. We heard from Duvernay throughout the night, obviously. Mark Andrews, he's a tight end. He's a pass catcher. So we always hear from him. Uh, but nobody else. Now... Um, one of Tylen Wallace's opportunities, Lamar did miss him. So that wasn't on Tylen. That was all on uh, Lamar Jackson. He, he overthrew him. Um, but other than that, we just, it was quiet. Didn't really hear anything from him. Um, and again, granted, he should have had a touchdown, so that's on Lamar. Uh, so I give him a pass for that game. Um, but still, like even before then, we haven't really heard much from him. Nothing from Prochet throughout really this season. Not even just the game against the Bengals, but we haven't really heard anything from those guys this season. Uh, it's been super, super, super quiet. Uh, and I just felt like the game against the Bengals, it should have been an opportunity um, for both of them to really get some burn and get some action, And but we ain't really see it. And then, I mean, even just by the snap count alone, you like Ravens, or just not even Ravens. Teams can, they can tell you one thing. They, they, they can tell you one thing. They can tell you how much they love this play and that play and da-da-da-da-da. And that's cool. That's great. But actions, actions tell you how they really feel. Looking at the snap count uh, from the Bengals and uh, Ravens game, Devin DuVernay, he played 47 snaps. Uh, Demarcus Robinson, he played 49 snaps. So look at that. So those were essentially the, the number one and number two wide receivers of the game. Um, but then you look at Tylen Wallace. Uh, he played 13 snaps. James Prochet, he played 18 snaps. So that is such a large difference in the snap count. Such a huge difference, a big difference between Duvernay and Demarcus and Prochet and Wallace, and now insert Andy Isabella. He, he's got to be looking at this situation like, oh, 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 I might have a chance. And depending on how long Rashad Bateman is out for, even when Rashad Bateman gets back, he could very well end up getting a practice squad call up. All right, Andy Isabella, you up. And one of those guys could be inactive between Prochet and Duvernay. 
I mean, ew, excuse me, something approached Jay and Wallace. Not Duvernay, not Duvernay. That that was an accident. My apologies. Um, but between Proche and Wallace, because they have not been getting many snaps. They have not been getting much action their way. So you put Andy Isabella in the mix. Did you sign him for no reason? I wouldn't think so. Especially because they, they just dropped um, Bailey Gaither from the practice squad. Andy Isabella took his spot. So they already had a receiver on the practice squad. They still got Riley Webb, another receiver on the practice squad, I believe, too. But they cut Bailey Gaither in order to uh, put Andy Isabella there. So are they doing that for no reason? I would not think so. So I, I just feel like Ravens are going to... they And now and today, again, I'm recording this on Monday. So he's officially part of their practice squad as of Monday. They don't practice till Wednesday. He'll be able to get in a full practice with the team to really start to get acclimated with the squad. So will his chemistry be that much off with a Lamar Jackson than a Prochet's or a Wallace's would be? Because it ain't like they getting much playing time right now. So would it be that much worse if you had him out there? Right now, I got to say no. And that's, of course, that's not a shot at them, obviously. But the way that the Ravens have been using, or the way, that, the way that the Ravens have not been using them, it's like you got to feel like the Ravens are over it. You got to feel like the Ravens are just, they not really invested into those guys. And again, it's, still, it's, it's only been five weeks now. But those five weeks have been very telling. I mean, hey, they went out and got Demarcus Robinson. They went out and got Demarcus Robinson. They already had a, a Bateman. They had Duvernay. They had Prochet. They had Wallace. They still went out and got Demarcus Robinson. So, you see, and again, they still had Bateman. They had Demarcus Robinson, had Duvernay, had Prochet, had Wallace. Still went out and got Andy Isabella. So, I don't know, man. I, I, I would think that the Ravens are going to try to... Uh, do their best to get him incorporated, like, right away now. I remember going into this game when, it, when I thought that the signing was going to be official before. I didn't think that he was going to play in the Bengals game. I just didn't see it. But now, after that Bengals game, and since he'll be signing before their first practice on Wednesday, I, I, I think that he'll definitely be a part of their game plan. Not like he'll have this big extensive role or anything like that, but I could certainly see him week by week. Over these next couple of weeks, start getting inserted into the lineup and, and, and just really end up getting end up eventually getting more snaps than Proche and Tylen Wallace. I, I, I could definitely see that. Um, I think Ravens are really gonna want to try to get his speed on the field. They they really gonna and it, again it's a low risk. It's a, he's on a practice squad. It's a super low risk uh type of signing. If it doesn't work out, okay. That's that. Move on. But I really do think that they're going to try to get him involved, especially since they don't involve the other guys. Um, and I really thought, like, going into this season, I'm like, all right, Bateman, yeah, that's going to be the number one. And I thought the way that they were, uh, like, really propelling or pushing uh, Proche up there, I really thought that, all right, oh, Proche probably going to be Ravens number two. Nope. Nope. And I, y'all heard me say it like, nah, I don't see them using Devin, do it. Devin Duvernay is no number two. No, they, mm, they ain't doing that. They don't view De Devin Duvernay as no number two receiving, but they, they've proven otherwise. I, I've been proven wrong by them Baltimore Ravens, man. So, uh, and then as far as the number three, that's like, toss it up in the air. I know my guy JT was saying, really, Mark Andrews is the number one. Bateman is the number two. Uh, Devin Duvernay is the number three. Then after that, hey, who knows? Who knows? So um, we'll see. But just my thoughts on Mr. Isabella joining the Ravens. And again, it the way that I'm viewing this thing, it really changed uh, after last night. Um, but really, when I think about it, last night is just a continuation of of what this season has unfortunately been so far uh, for James Prochet and, and for Tylen Wallace. You look at their snap counts from every game, they're, they're not really out there like that. They're not. 
Um, so it's it's just, it's just been something, man. So and not like they're gonna have like fifty plays a game, or anything like that. Especially because obviously before the injury, the Ravens would have a, a, a Bateman out there, and then Devin Duvernay, and then Demarcus Rob. So yeah, their snaps will be limited, but they like being limited, limited, and even with the Ravens top receiver out you still ain't really see them boys like that so again this is not not based off of opinion but just based off of what ravens uh have shown us so we'll see how it goes um we'll see if uh any of this ends up happening or it doesn't or ravens just be like hey you know what let's change things up and they they pull something out of a hat i don't know uh but anyway i love y'all i appreciate y'all and Welcome to the squad officially now, Mr. Isabella.